this is Genesis. We have finally reached the first of the Chiller's Art games that follows a particular style. From now on their games have a similar sense of identity as Chiller's Art have settled into their niche after testing out multiple different styles and avenues. This game and everyone that follows is why I wanted to make videos on Chiller's Art games all along. I've mostly enjoyed what came before but I've been very excited and eager to play this and the games that come after it for a while and that day is finally upon us. So enough yapping, let's go. Okay. He suddenly invited me to this house, I wonder why. I did not know there was going to be dialogue immediately. I can't see a damn thing. What's that? Oh! I found some money. Nice. Is there a flashlight? I don't think so. I can't. I hope this is the right way. Oh. That's not very pleasant. Poor thing. See what's this way. Doesn't look like anything. Kind of just. Okay, footsteps. Coming from somewhere. This is the way I started. I'm guessing the money is useful, so I'm trying to f see if I can find some more. But I really cannot see. Ah, uh, so that's where the smell was coming from. Yeah, but also probably the dead cat. Fish and dead cat. So there are more. He told me to be in the apartment room 104. I thought there was another cat for a moment, it's just a frog plant pot. Oh, 104. I can't actually see the numbers on the screens. Can I buy something from here? Oh, I think you can. Ah, more money. Ah. So I've been very excited to play this game because this is sort of the first sort of template Chiller's Art game. You know, after trying out many different things, this is the style that they ended up sort of settling on. And you did see bits of this in previous games. But I do think that this is the first one where they truly showed the direction they were going. Isn't this his mother's car? Well, it might be, but there's about a million of these on the planet. And there's no number plates. So we cannot know for sure. Can't go that way. That is a dead end. Man, them footsteps are kind of wild. They're behind this wall. But where's 104? How do I get up there? The stairs are here. I walked right past them while looking for other things. I do like to check everything. Uh, still no numbers. I, ooh, that's loud. What even was that noise? So, is this one one? That them footsteps. 
Who is that wandering around over there? Knock door. Yes. Sumimasen. Hello. There really is no one. Oh, it's mysterious. I can't just wait outside. I need to get in. Well, through the window then. Okay, no, not through the window. Didn't you say there's a spare key somewhere? I forgot where though. Probably under this. Where else would it be? Can I just climb through the window? Oh, I remember now. It should be under a lemon tree pot. That's what it is in there. I tried looking there and didn't do anything. Guess I had to wait for her to remember. Right. Okay. Shall I close the door? Oh. Oh, you actually take your shoes off. And the noise suddenly changes. That's very, very good soundproofing. Even with the door open, it stops all the noise from the road look. <laughs> very effective soundproofing. Can't open that door. Can't open that door. Maybe I'll just make myself a sandwich while I wait for him to return to his... <laughs> Apartment. Wow, this room looks really good for an apartment. Yes, it's, it is quite nice actually, yeah. But it's stigmatized, according to the title, which can't be a good thing. Uh, did the door just lock? Strange, the last seven pages are torn. I'm pretty sure I just had the door lock. Um, so I need to find seven pages. What is this for? It's, for, it's like this is for closing curtains or something. What do I need it for? Oh, what's this? Oh. Huh? There's a big hole in the wall. Okay, well, I found a page. Can I look through the hole? I want to see what's in there. Um. Oh no, that's creepy. I don't. I don't like the premise behind this. Yeah, can I look back? Yeah, I'm. Let's. Uh. Well, at least there wasn't an eye looking back at me. That would have been much worse. April 4th, moving is over at last, and today marks the first day living alone and also the first day writing a journal. I really look forward to the experience, I've always dreamed of it. I decided to move here because the rent is very cheap. I honestly can't believe that a broke student like me can afford such a nice room. Plus it's really close to my school, how amazing is that? I ate out with my parents today to celebrate the move and they were both laughing and just having a great time. Living alone is great and all but man I'm going to miss those faces. They told me that they're gonna be here for only a couple of days. They kept telling me how worried they are but they're just overthinking. They don't have to worry about a thing. I'm going to do just fine. Right. It's, uh, it's probably cheap for a reason. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, I can go in here now. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh what the hell? That's bath full full. Let me get more money in the bottom of the bar. No. Oh no, it's a page, of course. That makes more sense. <laughs> Don't know why I thought there'd be money in there. The paper's wet, I need to find a way to dry it. Is this a heated towel rack? I can use that. Oh, ah, oh, hair dryer, that'll, that'll do it. There we go. 
We haven't even plugged it in. Magical hair dryer. Right. Page two. I'm assuming if you don't find... I'm, uh, I'm assuming that the pages go in order no matter what order that you actually find the pages. I had a really hard time wording that just then. <laughs> April 5th. Today I took the whole day just setting everything up in the room. What used to be a room with small luggage and a simple bed now became a room with a bunch of furniture and a whopping queen sized bed. The previous tenant left everything and the owner was too lazy to get rid of them. Dad seemed to like this house so badly, he said he'd like to stay a little longer, but as much as I appreciate their company, I'd like to live life already. The owner came to say hello today. He looked like he could use a little sleep though. What was wrong with him? He shook my hand with a big smile on his face and told me how grateful he was for someone to finally rent the room. But how he stopped smiling right when he'd let my hand go, that was way too weird. Anyways, the new semester starts tomorrow. Gotta get ready. Hmm. So, it's starting to add up. It's a cheap rent. The owner, despite it being cheap, can't always find someone to rent it. And he seems to be a little guilty about it. So, and of course the name of the game is Stigmatized Property. Which means that this apartment is probably evil. Can I go in here yet? No, I cannot. Can I leave? I can leave. Because I'm guessing... Man in footsteps. I'm guessing not all the pages are in the apartment. Oh, there's a bird. Is that a crow? Raven? I think it's a raven. Hello? Oh, you've got a page! How do I get the page? Hmm. See, how did a raven get a hold of a page from my friend's journal? Oh, who's that? Oh, that's creepy. What the heck? Hello? Not window. Oh, I don't like this. Hello? Are you okay? Why is he just standing there? Uh, sounded like the door just got unlocked. Oh, he's not there anymore. Oh. Well, what's this for? Apartment memo. This apartment cannot be demolished. I tried to call a contractor trying to destroy it, but for some reason the phone line stops working. My mother suddenly becomes ill. I... A scary noise. I hope it isn't related. The local priest will not come. I tried asking other people to ask the priest. The priest got into an accident and died. Talismans are useless. I bought a box of talismans and stuck them on my walls but they were all burned the next day. Whenever I put a talisman on a wall, the word curse will continue to appear in my head. The apartment does not catch fire. The building repels fire. Well, this has got good fire safety, I guess. The apartment must continue to sell. A resident will be chosen every month. The chosen one will be possessed in a week. And after the possession, the person completely disappears from this world and no one remembers a thing about the person. I keep having nightmares and a strange voice keeps telling me to bring human. I can't sell the apartment. I can't let them hurt my family. Someone please help me. Right. Well that just gave away the whole plot, didn't it? So my friend got possessive and disappeared and, and he told me to come here so that I would end up being the next victim I suppose and he told he would have asked me while being possessed um but we still remember him so he he must not have completely disappeared yet because it says there that no one's supposed to have any memory of the person that disappears well there's a page there but I can't pick it up now because I'm holding these 
stepladder things and I can't put them down. So I need to figure out where to put <laughs> where to put this first. What was that? Oh, what? Um, hello? Why did you all just... Oh! What the hell, man? That was really unnecessary. So this apartment's empty as well. Got more money. It's really dark in here. Ah, oh, where do I put these... This stool thing down. What's this? Pray in front of the shrine. Can't hurt, I suppose. Hmm. I bet that affects the ending. Maybe it stops you becoming possessed. Maybe we can escape by praying. Oh, there's something on the floor over here. I need to I really need to figure out what to do with See I can't pick it up. I need to figure out what to do with this stool thing, this little ladder, step ladder. There must be a a note a journal page high up somewhere. And I need to use this to get it down. But where that is, I don't know. Hmm. Because I actually can't put it down. Which means there's loads of other things I can't pick up. Pick up. Uh, oh, what? Oh, right, okay. I could pick up the fish at the same time as the stool. And now it's like binded into a stool fish. <laughs> but I can't pick up whatever that thing over there was. How strange. I bet the... Oh, who was that? Where was that? I bet the fish is for the raven. I think it's a raven. Oh, what? Ah! Ah! Well, that solves that conundrum. Stool goes there. And I bet you want the fish. Yeah! Okay. Right, we're getting somewhere. So I've got... This is the third page. The door's still open, so I don't know... Why do I... Oh, no, it's because that room's locked, isn't it? So that's how I get into the locked room. I don't particularly fancy going in there just yet. I have a feeling something really evil is going to be in there. April 6th. Today was the first day of the semester. It's good to see my boys again. They wanted to come see my new apartment, but I don't know. They better not fuck anything up. <laughs> Mishima Sensei is my homeroom teacher. I wonder what kind of teacher she is. I hope she's not mean like the previous one. That guy was an asshole. Another weird thing happened today. When I got out of the room this morning, some middle-aged ladies across the street gathered and talked about Talk bad about this apartment. Women of that age like to gossip a lot. It's probably whatever. Or maybe they know something that you don't... Uh, it says I can look through the hole again. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I really shouldn't keep doing this. Nope, there's nothing there. Let's leave. Leave now before something happens. Um, who, who, seriously, what? Why are their footsteps just going around and round somewhere over there? It's very spooky. Climb it. Oh, I don't want to. There's a reason this room is locked. There can't be anything good in here. Well, there's a page. That's something. Starting to get very nervous. April 7th. I said hello to my fellow neighbours today. That's a polite thing to do, right? Always be nice to your neighbours, right, Mum? But you know what, Mum? I don't think that works here because I just got the cold shoulders from them. 
Yeah, I did as well. One of them even disappeared right in front of me in a very loud way. When I said good morning to the neighbour on the right, he just stared at me with his big eyes and without a word from his mouth, he shut the door on me. So are they, are they all possessed? And, but they haven't disappeared yet? Is it this whole building or is it? I mean, I assume it's the whole building, not just this one apartment that's bad. Even now, his big cat-like eyes won't leave my head. Ah, I shouldn't be too rude. I'll probably give it another go some other time. Anyways, today I saw a girl who looked just like the girl in Shiba, uh, Shibaki Bara 89 in my class. Her name's Mira and I'd like to get to know her. And from what I heard, she's single, ready to mingle. How lucky I'm excited for tomorrow. I feel like a part of me feels like he's not going to make it to tomorrow, but there's still three more pages for the journal, so... I'm assuming... Yeah, no, it's a week, isn't it? So three... Seven journal entries, seven days, and the thing... I think the newspaper, or like the, the thing in that other... That shed, that office, that said something about a week, didn't it? I think it said a week. But... I can't read it again. There's another page here. Uh, so let's go read this. April 8th. Mum came over to my room again. Ugh, I told her she doesn't have to come anymore. I think she had a fight with dad again. Her passive aggressive attitude got me, got to me, so I asked her how dad is doing. She refused to talk about it and, and instead just sat there quietly. I've never seen her face like this before. She would usually put a fake smile on her face after a fight. I would notice that, but it just wasn't like that this time. An hour or so later, she regained her usual positivity when she asked me if I can invite my old time friend Sayaka. She had the biggest smile when I agreed to it. Mum must be worried for me to live alone still. I only have Mira-chan in mind right now though. Hmm. But that smile. Her eyes weren't smiling. I think the mum is possessed here. And she's convincing him to bring the next victim. I.e. me. To this apartment. So he isn't possessed, or not yet anyway. But alas, none of them are anywhere to be seen, and if that is his mum's car down there, that means she never left. Despite the fact that none of them are here. So I'm thinking that him and his mum both got possessed and then lured me to come rent the room. And then they disappeared. But I still remember them. So maybe they haven't fully disappeared yet. Hmm. That's odd. I see a crumpled paper in one of the slots. It says it costs 100 yen. Right, so I need 30 more. I need to find some change. So I need 30 more yen. It would help if I could see. There was something over here, but it didn't look like a coin. It might be a coin. No, that's not. That's a key. Must be for one of the other apartments. Not that one. Oh! Ah! That's 80. I need 20 more yen. Those footsteps! <laughs> it's just. Is that meant to be happening? So he said the neighbour on the right had big scary eyes. No. I'll go in there, so I'm... Okay, well at least I don't have to encounter that neighbour. Oh, this one apparently. So what's the key for? There must be something else somewhere. cat's gone. Why is the cat gone? There's something very, very strange going on around here. 
See, like, I hear them footsteps and I feel like someone's coming after me, but it's... It's always on... Oh! Uh. Okay. But... There's ghosts. Oh. oh, I did not like that. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so I've got... I've got <laughs> nearly enough money. Um, I still don't know what this key is for. I've tried all the... Oh no, there's the ones on the back, isn't there? Or aren't there, I should say. Man, them footsteps keep sounding like they're coming towards me. Is there really definitely no flashlight in this. Oh, there's another shrine. Okay. Yes, I'm convinced that these have something to do with the ending. But how many are there? There could be loads of them. I found two. I reckon there's probably three or four. Two seems a bit... Seems a bit random too. I reckon there's, yeah, there's probably three or four. But where are they all? Will I find them in time to save my soul? And in that case, why did no one else ever figure that out? If this building is surrounded by the thing that saves you from the building, then why wouldn't you save yourself? Maybe the keys for a room in here. It would help if I could see. It's, it is very dark. So I already prayed at this one, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, is it for the car? Oh. I probably should have figured that out a lot sooner. How many pages am I up to now? I don't want to find all the pages until I've certain... But I've found all of the shrines. Oh, what the? Uh, I do not want to look through that again. So six, six out of seven. Hmm. April 9th. I was able to talk to Mira-chan today. What a great day. Except for one thing. Mum was gone when I woke up this morning. Her car was still parked here and it's odd for her to leave without notice. I hope Dad picked her up or something because the car is still there. See, this is what I was saying. I think she's disappeared. I invited Sayaka today and said she'd come tomorrow. I hope this makes her happy again. <sighs> right. So that's another coin then, I'm assuming? Yes. Couldn't really see it. Oh, do I want to look through here? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it's all red in there now. I was really expecting an eye just then, though. Wait, what's that? Is that open now? No. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to get the last page yet, though, because I feel like there's more than two shrines. And if that does affect the ending, I want to find them all. So... Ah. Oh, I bet there's one here. Yes, there is. That's a hard to spot a thing. 
So that's three shrines. I reckon there's one more. Four is a good number. I can't get out that way, obviously. Right, so that's... Okay. That's three shrines. I really hate them footsteps, man. It's probably just people walking around on the street on the other side of the wall. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Right, that's four. Oh, okay. I feel slightly warmer. Is it just my imagination? Ah. Uh. That's a good as indication as any to say that that fourth shrine did the trick. Okay, so they're all actually quite close to each other. One there, one through there. I suppose that other one was right at the other end of the complex here. I can't remember where the other one was. Somewhere around that area over there. Okay, so... Right, yeah. That definitely had an impact. I feel slightly warmer. That, I feel safer now, I assume. That's what that means. Okay, right, last bit of paper. Last diary entry. It's a good thing I found this now. After looking for shrines. Because this is probably where it ends. Let's look in here one more time. <laughs> I'm so curious to see what happens through here. No, there's nothing there. Okay. <laughs> I, really, I keep thinking that there must be an eye looking back at some point. I know it sounds really cliche. There is no escape. I can't read the rest. Oh, great. I'll call him later. I need to get home. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Oh, why is the mirror moved? I'm getting out of here. Oh, I look back repeatedly as I felt... I was constantly being watched, but no matter how many times I looked, no one was there. I couldn't handle the fear. I walked as fast as I could. Okay, continue. He was absent from school the next day. His seat was occupied by someone else. I tried asking his friends and teachers, but none of them knew or even heard of his name. Right, so everyone else has forgotten him except for us, somehow. After school, I went to the same apartment. However, the apartment was sold. According to the locals, the place has been on sale for a while. Where did the apartment go? And the boy I knew and loved, where did he go? Was it all my dream? Come to think of it... Dot, dot, dot. I don't remember his name either. Wait, who am I even talking about? Oh, so we do forget him. The end. Result. Saved. Yeah. Ah. Oh. And the picture of the achievement looks like the shrine. The picture that goes with the achievement looks like the shrines that we were. Ah. God, there were a few. There were a few bits of that that were quite spine tingling. Yeah. So, oh, there's a face there. Oh, okay. And, oh, wait, yeah, there's people standing around here as well. I didn't notice them before. The more you look at this, the more you see. That's really creepy. But, yeah, I'm very happy I finally got to play the first of the Chiller's Art games that are sort of following the Chiller's Art style that we end up with for, well, from here until now so yeah and it's all mind over matter this game because not a lot actually really happens but it's still somehow really scary because of the thoughts that it gives you and the way the sort of ambience the way it makes you feel just small details like the footsteps and blood coming out of the hole in the wall 
the disappearing neighbor, things like that. Very good short horror experience. Okay, so I just thought I'd come back and do the bad ending real quick, and it seems the mirror moves before you've actually put all the pages in. So maybe I just didn't notice that before, but it shows the door is closed in the reflection even when it's open, which is kind of creepy. But anyway, I just wanted to see what happens if you don't pray at all the shrines. So I'm just currently looking for the coins because I can't remember where they all were. I haven't been in here yet. Yes, yes, yes. You can't surprise me more than once. So I've got 80 yen. Need 20 more. Oh yeah, I remember, yes. I already looked here and it wasn't there, but I forgot about this little sequence. Yeah, 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 just give me the bloody coin. Right, that's 90. It's funny, like, it seems a bit trivial going for it a second time. The first time is, like, quite scary. But then the second time you know what's going to happen, so it's, it doesn't really do anything. I'm not praying at the shrines this time because I want to get the bad ending. I want to see what happens. I need a coin. That, that's showing the shrine there. Just need a coin. I do not know where the last coin is. Ah, oh, see, this time I took the cat to the crow, and so the fish has disappeared. So maybe that disappearance isn't that deep. Oh, where's the last coin? I don't know where it is. This is getting silly now. Where is it? Oh, oh yeah, it drops out there, doesn't it? Yeah. It's weird because I did everything in a different order. I totally forgot about that. Right. So now we find out what happens if you don't pray at the shrines. I'm assuming I become possessed and then disappear from memory, just like everyone else. There is no escape. I can't read the rest. Finish reading, yes. I'll call him later. I need to go home. Oh, I don't like it. It's it's become scary. Yeah, look, the, the oh, it's become scary again because this is a new look through. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, that that's my friend and his mum and someone else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the end result possessed. <laughs> that was so loud. Actually made me jump. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what happens when you don't do your prayers. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.